Hey, my name is Frank, and this will be the second episode of a series we're doing on multitrack recording and virtual soundcheck on a Digico SD12. Last week, I showed you the easiest way on how you can multitrack your shows using the onboard Ubimadi. See the link in the description. But like I said then, when you have your Digico session in 96K, you can only record 24 channels. If you need more recording channels, you will need to implement a DMI card in your SD12. Please check the link in the description to discover all the different kinds of DMI slots that are available for Digico. For example, here I have a DMI Dante 64 card, which you then put in your console. Here in my setup, I have connected a DMI Waves card in one of the two DMI slots in the SD12. Using a DMI Wave card means entering the magical world of Waves, Wave software, licenses, and the SoundGrid protocol. By using a DMI Waves card, you will have to install some software on your recording computer, so it's not plug and play like the onboard UbiMari. The first application we need to have is Wave Central. Wave Central is like the central hub for all software, updates, and life licenses management for Waves. Then, we need a Wave software to patch our sound grid connections. For multitrack recording, we have two software options in Wave. Or you use SoundGrid Studio, or the other option is using Waves Super Rack. SoundGrid Studio is mostly used in recording setups as the heart of the studio. SoundGrid Studio is an application that lets you control all your SoundGrid connections. To be clear, it does much more than just patching, but if you need more info on SoundGrid Studio, please check the link in the description once again. SuperRack, on the other hand, is widely used in the live sound industry, which we're going to explain SuperRack in the next video. Today, we're going to use SoundGrid Studio. With SoundGrid Studio, you can easily connect your recording laptop to the DMI with a simple network cable. Even if the software SoundGrid Studio 8 is free of charge, be aware that you need to have it as a license on your USB stick. We're going to use SoundGrid Studio as a patch bay on our computer for all our SoundGrid connections. So, we need to check our connections on three different platforms, being SoundGrid Studio, Reaper, and Digico SD12. So, a lot of options to make mistakes. Our advice is keep it simple and keep your patching always one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, so let's open SoundGrid Studio. But first of all, here I have uh, Waves, the Waves website open. I'll quickly show you if you go, uh, we're on Mixer and Racks. And here you can see SoundGrid Studio A channel, which is free of use. On this side, you can, of course, also download the Waves Central application. Like I said, that's the central hub for all things concerned Waves. Here you see that on this laptop, now I have SoundGrid Studio, a channel mixer. I have the license and I have it installed. Then open SoundGrid Studio. Like I said, a lot of things you can do with this software program, but we just need it to make a patch device to device. So from here, our DMI card to our MacBook Pro, we make a one-on-one -on -one patch. And from our MacBook Pro to the DMI card, we make a one-on-one -on -one patch. Then um, I will uh, need to open Reaper. And in Reaper, wait a second, I have a multi-track session prepared with a little simple loop. 
64 channels of recording ready, then you go to routing matrix and you also make a patch, a one-on-one -on -one patch like I prepared here. So for recording, inputs, and here for outputs. On the software side, on the computer side, that's everything. Now we go to our console. Let me quickly explain. Check our audio. We have an input rack, which is in this case is normally a D2 input rack, but it's not connected. So you see it here, it's not connected. But these inputs, we want to record it to our, or send it to our DMI waste card, which is here, which is connected. Yeah. Then you go to copy audio and we're gonna select D2 input rack. We're gonna send all these channels to the DMI waste card, which I already did, which you can see. So once again, a simple one-on-one -on -one patch. Now, if we go back to, Rupert, er, to Reaper, sorry, we push play. Now it's running here in the loop. If we push listen to copy to audio, you will see that all these inputs are coming in on the console. So that's it, very easy. In the next video, I will show you how to use SuperRack for multi-track recording and virtual playback. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.